God bless guys, inspiring theology back with a new video. In this video, I wanted to talk about that in God, there are no dead ends. Romans 8, 28 For those who love God, all things work together for their good. The Lord has put in my heart to speak on this subject because it's of great importance that we understand that we serve an all-powerful God, a God who does not know the word impossible, a God who makes the bad good, a God who makes a tragic experience bless you and strengthen you. As believers, whenever we hit a roadblock, or we stumble, we tend to see things as dead ends. We tend to think that it's the end of the world whenever we can't accomplish something or get rejected. But that is very wrong of us because the Bible, as you read earlier, says that those who love God, everything works together for their good. Everything works together for the good of those who love God. It doesn't matter if you've been laid off your job. It doesn't matter if your family has betrayed you and kicked you out of their house. It doesn't matter if your girlfriend dumped you and left you behind. God is all powerful. And just because you've stumbled here and there doesn't mean his plan for your life has come to an end. People may turn their backs on you. Friends may betray you. Your family may abandon you, but God will never do anything like that. The Bible says in John 6, 37, Whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. And we will hold to this promise that whoever comes to God, God will not leave them alone. The Bible speaks about a boy named Joseph, who was betrayed by each of his brothers simply because God had promised to use him very powerfully when he grew up. And Joseph, this young boy, suffered the betrayal of his family. He was sold as a slave, thrown into a pit to be forgotten. But the Bible says that God overturned this tribulation and this time of trial for Joseph and out of his anguish and his pain came many blessings not only for his life but for those same people who once had turned his back on him my point is here is that maybe the people in your life right now don't see the hand of God working in your life maybe the people in your life right now have abandoned you have turned their backs on you, have lost faith in you. But if you remain faithful to God and His Word, there will come a time when those very people that once had, that once wanted nothing to do with you will have to come to you because it is through you that God will resolve their problems. It is through you that God will bless their lives. So I say to you once more, in God, there are no dead ends. The bad is always worked out for good. The ugly is made beautiful. Tragedy is made into joy. And that what appears to be the end is really but the beginning. The Bible says that God gave his only son, Jesus, on the cross as ransom for humanity so that through Jesus Christ the people who had done wrong which is us could be given a second chance could be given an opportunity to be set free and though we were the ones that deserve to die as the Bible says for there is not one righteous man no not one for the wages of sin is death nothing we have in this life we get it because we deserve it yet God in his infinite mercy and in his infinite love gives it to us though we don't deserve it 
And if God was willing to give up his only son, Jesus, on the cross for you, what isn't he willing to give up for you? To restore your marriage, to restore your financial ruin, to restore your relationship with your family, to restore your broken spirit after a tragic experience. That God was willing to give the most important thing up for us, His Son Jesus on the cross. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing that, is, that He isn't willing to do for us. The Bible says that the veil has been broken. The barrier that had once separated us from God, sin, was taken and buried in the ground by Jesus' atoning death on the cross. Meaning, there is nothing that can separate you from God. There is nothing now that can separate you from the immense love that God has for you. There is nothing that can separate you from God's eternal love but your own stubbornness. And I assure you, if you're willing to surrender your heart to Christ, you will experience the most fulfilling, enriching love that you will ever come to experience in this lifetime. And in my five years serving the Lord, I can say that not once has God abandoned me. Not once has God disappointed me. Not once has God failed to show me His love, mercy, and compassion in my daily walk. Which is why I ask to you, if you happen to be watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, if you don't profess the Christian faith, I ask you to prepare yourself to take the most important decision of your life. Will you accept all that God has to offer for you and walk into His arms? Or will you reject His love and choose to walk in this lost and fallen world? And I'll leave you guys with one more word. Remember that those who serve God, those who stand by the Bible and by God's side, there are no dead ends because we serve an all-powerful God who does not know the word impossible. I'll leave you guys with one more verse from the Bible which says, For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord.